Man They Could Not Hang, 1939, directed by Nick Grindy, starring Boris Karloff, Roger Pryor, and Lorna Gray. A scientist is tried and executed for murder when his efforts to resuscitate the dead are interrupted by the police. Feeling vilified after successfully being brought back to life, he begins his plot for revenge. This film was recommended by a fan. Thanks for the suggestion. This is one of Boris Karloff's multiple post-Frankenstein titles involving death and science. Studios weren't shy to capitalize on his overnight ascent to horror stardom in the 30s and 40s. This is very much Karloff's film as well. He really gives a powerhouse performance in this one. The rest of the cast, while perfectly adequate, don't really get to stand out as much in this one, and are more of an ensemble that interacts with Karloff's character in one way or another. Carl Brown's script is extremely well written. He really gives Karloff some juicy monologues to chew the scenery with in the trial scenes in particular. The revenge plot Karloff's character executes reminds me of The Ninth Guest, another horror film I reviewed from the 30s. There's no ghoulish makeup in this one, I'm afraid. Dr. Henrik Savard's experiments do succeed, so he's just a regular guy. My only real gripe is that Savard's character arc does seem disjointed. Going from scenery-chewing humanitarian scientist to murder-happy ghoul cackling about having the world's best alibi in the second act, an issue I had with The Devil Commands as well. His own daughter even calls him out on his short-sightedness when she discovers he's alive again rightfully pointing out that proving that his experiment succeeded and conquering mortality would have been a more fruitful revenge than murdering the jurors to death. An opportunity to explore the potentially sinister side effects of resurrection was available, but sadly ignored. That being said, horror frequently demonized scientists in the 30s and 40s, so I'm not entirely surprised by the lack of complexity. There is even a not-so-subtle pentagram in the lid of one of the scientific devices in the beginning of the film. It's almost comical how evil science is portrayed. The Man They Could Not Hang also sounds like a title you'd come up with in an early draft versus the final product as well. They could have called this film The Terror of Dr. Vengeance, or even Alibi of the Living Dead. Verdict recommended. A revenge tale worth resurrecting on your television screen. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.